Good evening. Thank you for coming. <coughs> what should we do? Should we watch TV? <laughs> Just in case there are any lawyers. Thank you. 
Well, when I started to do these shows, I thought, shall I lie to the audience? Shall I pretend to be playing lots of fancy stuff that actually I can do with a computer? And I thought, no, I'm just going to play the notes that I know and hope that the pictures will be interesting enough. Uh, and also, I got a few friends to help me. This is uh, a program called Bloom, which is written by Brian Eno. He's not a friend, actually. I can't stand the guy, but his program's fantastic. <laughs> and it's cool, you just go like this.
just, uh, just so that I don't forget, uh, I made a website called www.sacred-profane.com, sacred which is um, uh, about making art into into uh, spiritual objects and, and using using images that wouldn't normally be used for spiritual things like this. So check that out. Um, well done, everybody. You get a round of applause from me for, for uh, this is one of the more full-on videos. So um, just for light relief, if it works. Uh, this one is for the heterosexuals in the audience. <laughs> Uh, uh, what else to tell you? Actually, I will tell you one other thing. Um, this video came about because there's a big second-hand market for, for mobile phones in Thailand. And uh, uh, what happens is Westerners buy phones for, buy phones for uh, their, their girls or their boys. And the boys and all the girls, when the Westerners go home, they sell them because they need the money but they forget to erase the films that are in the phones. And so there's a, a big underground market of exchange of people who swap these uh, homemade videos that people make using their phones. And that's what this song is made from.
kept entertaining up, you know, not like me at all. <laughs> and uh, and then on on uh, on YouTube, I also found this, which is oh, I've got water on the thing. Hold on a sec. <coughs> Very professional, is that? Okay. No, not that. Yes, that one. The thing that disturbed me was the way the car handled the map. I felt this was a political game. Also, it's called AIDS, get famous, was entertained, and he's a little the, no, no person. Had his 15 seconds of fame. He must have done eight press conferences. So the announcement was made. Liberace died from an opportunistic disease caused by AIDS. I was uh, all of a sudden uh, forced into the limelight, and uh, it's a matter of ego, I guess. I, I didn't uh, fear anything. I didn't, uh, and I, I guess you could say I didn't enjoy the limelight because it made me world famous. I wish that Lee's wishes could have been that he could have gone and been cremated and it would be nobody's business. So you try and find something funny and it just ends up being sad. Maybe that's just me finding that stuff. Okay, um, anyone in the audience who doesn't like meat, doesn't like going to the butcher, doesn't like seeing people chopping up dead bodies. Don't watch.
people know things are real, they can be upset, they can be sickened, disturbed. I think, I think watching films like this can put you in the way of harm, can harm you. If anybody feels harmed today, I apologize. Uh, it's not my intention to harm people. What it is my intention to do is, is show that somehow people making their own movies of stuff like this, these uh, atrocities really, people who for whatever feel proud that they can make these films. Save a dog's life when he swallowed a billion ball. Okay, well, I once helped out a neighbour who didn't have any more kids. Oh, settle down, chopper. Whatever your story, this bad boy cuts to the chase. Stanley Fat Max Utility Knife makes something great. So there's a hot comedy even in horror. <laughs> to change the mood. If you can. If you can. Uh, boil down what I've learned in the last five years, it's that life really isn't so serious as it seems, certainly not so serious as cutting off heads. Life is fantastic, it's beautiful, if you just learn to see it that way. This is a song called Be Happy, which for me says it all.
doubt. What kind of sadness? But the sadness that's living in a smile, living in something a bit softer and more human. I really appreciate you all coming tonight. Thank you very much. Um, there's not uh, a huge market for just weird shit. <laughs> Can you stand another one? One more? Yes. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, but this is one of them. This is made by uh, a Welsh company called Bug Brand. They're fantastic things. And what I really need to do is I need to get some tape so as I can string it around my head like, you know, <laughs> the Who or something. But it makes a fantastic noise and it's the greatest thing to play. This thing is pretty fun to play. <laughs> Anybody that wants to have a look at that after is welcome to come up and have a look. This is made by a French company called per, uh, Earwave, E O W A V E. It's a, called a Persephone or Persephone, and it's fun. But this is even more fun and tenth the price. <laughs> Software is so complicated these days. No, not that one. That one, that's the one I want, yeah. Okay. This is a sort of a, a nod in the direction of the X files. And it should be as loud as we think that the PA and the audience can stand.
everybody needs um, CDs signed, anything signed, arms, boobs, etc. I'll be around in five minutes. I'm going yeah. to pee. Thanks very much.